Hurricane Larry is no longer a major hurricane. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The newest advisory just came out. It is no longer a major hurricane. It, it now has maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour, moving northwest at 13 miles per hour. Its current location is 28.3 degrees north, 58.9 degrees west. Here's the back to the satellite right here. Before we get to the uh, rest of the models, we need to uh, talk about the structure of this hurricane. This over uh, this since uh, this time yesterday has just basically the structure is that we had yesterday is non-existent pretty much the hurricane we have now is just it looks just awful on satellite and everything so this thing is really struggling it has the water's getting cooler the wind shear's getting greater and the dry air is getting uh, greater as well so I don't expect this to be a category, a high-end high category 2 hurricane, which it is now for much longer. Here's the intensity forecast. Yeah, disregard all the models that have it going back up to Cat 3. That's not going to happen. The, if, it, if it could do that, it could. But it lost all of its, pretty much all of its good structure left. And it's over unfa an unfavorable environment. So yeah, the rest of them have it weakening uh, gradually and then just start dropping in, as it becomes a post-tropical cyclone later this week. Here's the track. The next 24 hours, Bermuda is under a tropical storm warning. So for the next 24 hours, Bermuda, next 24 to 36 hours, Bermuda, you have to pay attention right now. Pay attention where the storm is going. Pay attention to all the potential threats you're going to have. The potential threats are include, but are not limited to, uh, localized flooding, a little bit of storm surge, uh, high rip currents, uh, tropical storm force winds, maybe hurricane force gusts. Those aren't off the table. So after 48 hours, it's gonna turn. It's gonna move more to the northeast. It there are some malls that have it making a landfall in in Canada, but the rest of them. Have it just going all the way up to Greenland, uh, northern up to Greenland in the northern Atlantic Ocean. So that's the latest development. Some have it making landfall in Greenland as a post-tropical cyclone. That's something we're gonna have to watch. So yeah, back to the satellite. This let's pull up the satellite imagery. Go back to 120 frames. Yeah, this is what it was like, and then. As you can see, that whole eye just pretty much lost all of its structure there. Yeah, there's the eye right there. It's been struggling, been struggling. Then, there you go. It's just pretty much pretty much gone at this point. It's not gone. There's still a center of circulation, but yeah. This is not looking, uh, this is not a healthy looking system. This is not going to last much longer, this uh, if if you if it were me if it were me this doesn't even look like a 110 mile an hour hurricane. This looks more like a 100 mile an hour hurricane. It's not a Cat One yet. I can't say it is because it's not. It doesn't look like it's a Cat One, but yeah, it's looking super unhealthy. It's getting close to that at that point. Yeah, and I can also see the center of the circulation just slowing down at this at that point. So there it goes again and it just starts collapsing. Yeah, the center of circulation just is slowing down at this point. So yeah, that's the latest on Hurricane Larry. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more updates on Hurricane Larry and Invest 91L.